Hey guys, welcome back to Impressed by Roxanne. I hope you had a wonderful Christmas. So today we're going to be doing some nail art and I'm actually going to be doing what I call a blooming rose and um, it is really, really beautiful. So hope you like it. If it's something you're interested in, tune in and please like and subscribe. Okay, so here what I've done is I took a tip. If this was a client, you would prime and, and prep as usual. But since it wasn't, and I'm using a tip, what I did was I used the Lacket base coat. I did one coat of the Lacket base. Then I did, and I did this off camera because it's not really necessary. I did two coats of the Lacket Black, and that's the uh, gel polish on Vogue makes this one. So, there you go. They're both cured. Three layers. I should say three layers are cured. All for 60 seconds each, and it is ready to go. Ready for Steve. Okay. So now we've got our two uh, layers of color on in our base coat. I actually have the Ugly Duckling. It's clear sh uh, schmelted. And um, these are a different top, but that's gone. Anyway, I'm going to do one coat of the schmelted, a thin coat, and we're going to put that all over the nail and don't cure it. And this will help make the roses look like they're blooming. Okay, so we have a nice even coat. You can let that just sit for a while. Just a couple seconds and smooth out. And remember, we're not curing this. So now the next part is we're going to use the Detailer Brush by Ugly Duckling. It has a very, very little head on it. There's not very many bristles, but it is one of my favorite brushes to use for detail work. And we're going to use um, the Lacket White Gel Polish. This is going to create our rose. I'm just going to decant a little bit right here and we'll go from there. Okay, so for this, you really want to get some product in your brush. And we're going to do multiple roses on this. It's a nice long tip, so why not? Okay, so I'm actually going to get a little ball on the tip of that. I don't know if you can see it. And we're going to start in the middle of our rose. Oops. Now the smelt it is put on before this, and that actually helps. You'll see it kind of pan out. Yeah, I got a larger brush though. So I'm just going to do some petals around. doesn't look like much of anything here now. But it will. And I'm just kind of taking lines and pulling them and I'm kind of, there's no raw reason. It seems like I'm making big, the big letter C's really around the outside of the rose. Okay, so maybe that's enough for that one. Maybe we'll start another one. So you take your brush and get a little dollop. Maybe we'll start one over here. A little, like a comma. And we'll do some more. 
And kind of the shakier and the messier you do it, the better. Or in my opinion. You know, obviously you can't turn a person around like that. You can turn their nail kind of upside down if you're working on a client, but... So I'm just pulling some around, going thicker in some areas, and then going to a thinner point, pulling it out. It doesn't look like much, but do you see how this one is opening up a bit? Just melt it, just pulling it around. So I'm actually going to put on enough petals so these flowers kind of blend together. And like I said, it doesn't look like much now, but it will. We're going to do third rows now, down the bottom. The front the top one is really starting to bloom, so I might have to speed this up a bit. And this is what we want. We want them to kind of melt together. I'm just going to put a couple little I don't know if these are leaves or petals, but you're thinking, my goodness, how is this going to look good? I don't know. Kind of let it do its thing. This one needs a little bit more time. I might even pull through a little bit on this one. Kind of help it along. So we're just kind of waiting for this one to catch up to the other ones. Okay, so now we've got three here. And this one is going to be fine, you'll see. I'm going to put this in the light and let this cure for 60 seconds. Okay. So, this one spread it really, really nicely. So now we're just going to, you know me, I've always got to up my game a little. I can't just leave everything alone. So... Now, we're going to take some more of the white, but I've switched my brush to the um, Light Elegant Stripey brush. Just because, realistically, I have a little less control when it's a bit longer. And the messier, shakier you are with this is the absolute, it's ideal. It's exactly what you want to happen. So I'm going to load my brush. nice to twirl your brush through the product because it really gets them even. And now wherever I feel like I want to outline this rose, I'm going to add a little bit of an outline. And I'm going to be shaky. Luckily I just had a coffee so that makes you shaky when you're doing nail art. It's actually a benefit when you're doing roses. So I feel like this may have Cured a little with the light. So I'll add a little more. So now we're going to wherever we can see that and make sure that you still get the definition of the black there, but wherever you want to put a little bit of outline, you can. And the lighter, kind of squigglier lines, the better. So we're going to outline this. I'm 
I might have to switch to the detail brush, even though it's not my favorite for this, but it just seems like it, I can get uh, thinner lines with it. So, let's see. I'm just going to outline everything here now. So everything that we want. You just don't want to cover up the black that's peeping through. And this little bit of detail is going to make all the difference in the next step, you'll see. Okay, so when you have all this detail painted on, I'll put a little bit more in the center. And all you're doing is going around the edge of your petals and kind of really random. Once you get that detail done, you stick that back in the light for another 60 seconds or. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, so now we're going to start the next step. Right now, it's white on black. It looks a little bit gray. And I told you before that I would think up some sort of tutorial to show you with glass gels. Um, before, when I was doing a tutorial, and I was showing, not a tutorial, sorry, a um, swatch video, I was using New York, and it was like a a glass gel see-through green and I was showing you that you can do a lot of things with that I was telling you sorry well this time I'm going to use a glass gel and it's by wildflowers and it is their red and it is beautiful so we're actually going to put two coats of this red on top of these flowers and you will see them come to life I mean you could leave it like this and add a little bit of glitter there's nothing wrong with that it'll still be a beautiful nail but this is a see-through red it's a dark red. And we're going to do two coats. The first coat, sometimes over the, over the white, can look a little bit orange. And these are going to look like realistic roses. So that's why you put the two coats, is because you want that true red color to shine through and make sure you cover everything you don't want white peeking through and you can add some glitter after this you can add some jewels around the top but I like when I'm doing this type of a a nail on a client I think that this nail is good to stand alone you don't need to do anything extra really nice with um, a black set and maybe a silver accent nail with it as well so you can cure that now for one minute this Ugly Duckling um, number 26 is a really, really nice silver to go with it. It's gorgeous. I might even put it on myself. Okay, so like I said, the red is beautiful just as it is. I do have to put a second coat because in some places it's a bit lighter and it will come across not true true red and you want this to be a nice deep red just like a red rose and you can do multiple colors and glass gels so 
really nice in pink, really nice. Actually, I was just, uh, somebody just mentioned to try it in blue would be nice. I think blue would be a nice one. If you want to uh, see it in blue, let me know. So again, you put this in the light for 60 seconds. Okay, so now here we have it. Now all that's left to do is top coat. So in this design, I used all gel polish. So I'm going to use the Lacket I'm No Wipe um, top coat. And you can do this, even though I use um, gel polish, you can do this design over acrylic or gel nail as well. I just decided to do it over a tip today, but I think I might recreate this on my own nails. And this is just really going to bring out the 3D look. It's really, cause it does, it looks like it's blooming and kind of coming off the nail. And really punch up that shine. Beautiful. Okay, put this in for last cure. Mm -hmm. So everybody, a beautiful blooming rose, just gorgeous.